everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Pop Off and Game here, and today I'm playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. So today, uh, there's nothing intense going on today in terms of planning. For the most part, we're probably just going to be doing some basic resource grinding. That is a lot of gold, but I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, so today's going to be a pretty basic episode. We're going to be doing some uh, Tower of Sweet Chaos. I have 80 keys saved up. We might do some dark mode, we might do some arena, some superman, just basic stuff like that. It's gonna be a bit of a more laid back episode, nothing nothing super intense that we're planning. Just just basic. Last time we finished off the, uh, the actual story of the entire game, which is pretty cool. As you'll see, we're about to go to chapter 12, or episode 12 in our journeys here, which I really should be doing more now that you get the time jumpers. I haven't done... I stopped doing these because they became pretty much pointless, but now with the time jump edition, they are so, so much more better. Uh, or so much, so much more better, I guess. Not so, so much more better, but still, say it. Is that the same thing? I think I just said the exact same thing. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna be doing some basic stuff today. We also have, as I guess, we have a few gotchas here. I didn't think we had that many. Uh, no, just a couple ones here and there. But still, a couple cookie gotchas to do. Uh, we might do a tender or something with some gems, but honestly, laid back video, just doing some grinding, doing a bit of a checkup and calming ourselves off after finishing the story. Uh, I also might do a little bit of update talk, we'll see. Again, just pretty, pretty, pretty relaxing video here. We're still so close to doing a 5 draw on the costumes. I actually do quickly want to see, is there any way if we can quickly get 200 of those? I could buy them. How much are 200 of these? I don't think it's that expensive. Oh, these are so expensive. I say, oh, I don't think it's that bad. This is gonna cost me, like, I don't know. What, 5,000? I think, like, 5,000 of these mileage points? That's insane. Move faster. I want 200. There we go. Just about. Um, like, exactly 200, preferably. Yeah, this is gonna be 5,000 exactly, isn't it? Um, yeah, 5,000 mileage points. I have 24,000. You know what? I'm doing it. We are doing... <laughs> A five times costume draw, likely not a smart decision, but we're doing, we're doing it anyways. Uh, so I only, I've gone like three or four of these costumes, period, so I've never done a five draw before. Uh, so this should be exciting. I, I have no idea if that was a good sign, the hearts or the eye things, that looks impressive, but I really don't know. So yeah, we'll start off with the five costume draws, maybe we'll get something really good, who knows, that would be exciting. Um, I can't tell if this is bad or not, I think I just got a lot of comments. I got one of the rainbow crystals, sparkling cookie. Okay, the pink bubbly fuzz sparkling cookie does look pretty cool. Fragrant shiitake mu poison mushroom cookie, pretty good. Uh, chocolate goodness milk. Okay, these are pretty cool skins. All very basic. Hot baked yams, pretty awesome too. Uh, basic skins, but still look pretty cool. You need a hundred of these, man. You need a hundred duplicates to get one of these skins. I get these skins are good and all, but even still, that's a lot. Uh, still, that was pretty exciting. A nice, a nice start, I guess. Uh, do we actually have some of these rewards to collect? We actually do have some of these rewards to collect. Fortunately, no Christmas tree for me. That would be the premium pass, of course. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna start off with the Tower of Sweet Chaos, because again, I have like 92 keys. We're on floor 28. I've only ever actually made it to floor like 60-something. I probably will never make it to floor 99, because it's really, really hard to get. Never mind, floor 120? 40? 50? Floor 150! I've never made it to the top here. Uh, and there's only 13 days left, so I probably never will, but it's still yes. cool to dream. So we're gonna do some of these, probably spend most, if not all, of our keys here. Uh, cause it is really one of the best areas in terms of loot, which is pretty great. Um, so yeah. We will do some dark, or not some dark, uh, some power of sweet chaos. Uh, but yeah. How is your day going, by the way? I always like to ask that. Uh, I hope your day is going well. My day is going pretty good. Uh, not obviously for me today, but for you guys yesterday. No, for me today, and for you guys yesterday, that was weird. I got that backwards. I don't want to see the crit chance up, okay? I, I, I get it. I don't really care. Um, basically, uh, there was the BTV Battles 2 games with you guys, which was fun. Obviously, I only got to play with two of you guys, which is not a ton. But I am planning on doing that again. I put I number one in the title, sort again, of like, hey, do you guys want to see this again? again? Aw, two healing cookies? Fine, fine, fine. I will just plop in a raspberry then. Um, but yeah, so I actually did sort of do that to suggest that, hey, I'm open to do more of these. If you can't tell, by the way, I'm saying you should watch the, the Beefy Battles 2 videos if you haven't seen them yet. I will put the links in the description. 
for the first three videos, I guess, now. Uh, I did the same thing in my Blue Dimension Tower Defense series. I know I really want this series to succeed. I think it's the game. It's going to be a big deal for the channel if I can get you guys to watch it. Because I get it. I'm a viewer, too. I understand sometimes you... Well, sometimes you just don't really want to see that. There's a new game, you're like, nah, I like the games I'm already watching that this person does. I don't really feel like watching it anymore. Um, but you know what? I think you'd really like it. I really do. It's a I fun game. Obviously, if you're a Bloom's Venture from Tower Defense fan, you're more likely to. But even as a Kukum King fan or just a fan of me, I, need a drink. I think it's, it's a pretty fun game. It's a bit you. of a learning curve, I guess, but I think it's a lot of fun. And I do intend to continue doing it, so I'd appreciate it if you at least checked it out, which would be very nice. Um, but yeah. I think it could be. What's that cooldown effect? Did I activate it before battle? I think that's what happens. You. Uh, it would be pretty cool to see some more of you guys checking me out. So I do intend to make it a series. It's actually the exact same thing, by the way, I did with Cookier and Kingdom originally. You know, now the larger game on my channel for the most part. First. Uh, because originally, when I first started to play this game, when it first came out, to be honest, overall my channel was a lot smaller, obviously. But it did significantly Your worse than the Dimension Tower Defense. For like, you. less than half the views for all the videos for at least two or three months. It took a long time to build up this game's audience. And uh, a lot of those audience obviously did come from Bloons of Edge Tower Defense, my other major game. And that's good to see and it's good to hear. Um, but obviously it's just a sign that, you know, sometimes even if the game starts off slow, you gotta push for it. And you know what? Kukum Kingdom turned out pretty good, and I think DP it's battles could as well. So, yeah. I need a drink. So, that would be awesome. Also, if you do go, give it a like, you know. Double liking. Also, while you do that, might as well like this video, too. And the double like prep. Um, but yeah, so I want to talk about that like I did in Blue Zone Crowd Fence, obviously, as I mentioned. Uh, I mean, feel free to check in those videos, too, if you haven't seen them yet. But I assume most of you have at least seen one. For you. Um, but yeah! Unless you're new, and if you're new, subscribe. Okay, that was a lot of self-grossing, but with out of the, with that out of the way, I do just want to say thank you. It's really, it's really nice to see. It's really appreciated. I'm also now realizing it's like mid-December almost. Uh, it's a little freaky to think about that. I didn't think we were that close to the end of the year, but we really, really are. There was only what, like, 25 days left? 24 days left till New Year's. That is. Or, like, the new year. That's nutty. Yeah, that's a little freaky. I wasn't really sure that that was coming up so soon already. I- that- that's a little intense. Um, but yeah, that's, that's definitely a little crazy. We're already near on the two-year anniversary of the channel. That- that is a freaky thing to think about. It does not feel like it's been almost two years. But I guess it was really end of April, so... I say almost two years, we still got another, like, five months to go, but still. A very, very nutty thing to think about nonetheless. Five months, not or not five months. Uh, two years, almost. That's kind of crazy. I guess we are at a year and a half now, yeah. <sighs> definitely, definitely a little wonky it's there to think about, but you. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, too. Two years, wow. I, I mean, obviously most of you guys are probably newer, because obviously the channel grew more recently, as YouTube channels generally do, but kind of nutty to think about. I know I said that a lot in all those, battle. you know, similar words, simile, simile, though that's not the right term. Um, Move. Move. Why are you so slow? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm just like going through sounds to the computer. He's like, Move! Get out of my way! You guys are so slow! Man, I love when they give just like character battles here. They're such a joke in the Tower Sweet Chaos. And Licorice Cookie, he's been my favorite since the beginning. He's still my favorite cookie. He's just so cool. Like, there's just so many good things about him. They asked me to put no magic cookie in here. I don't have that many good non-magic cookies. I'm what are you show. doing here? I need my magics. Instead, I'm putting in three berserkers. Look what you made me do. Uh, yeah, that was... That's an interesting one. No magical limited magic cookie, I think, is a pretty common theme of, like... Death sentences for the Tower of Sweet Chaos. Just, like the ability to use magic cookies, they're some of the best, if not the best, it's cookies in the game. To be fair, end. restricting slash saying I no to healers could also be pretty bad. Especially if it's no healers, limited support, or none of either. You I could be drink. really tight I'll on healing. You uh, but overall, you can probably just tank them. Healing's good, but it's not that important for maps that, or for matches that aren't as long. Which generally, the Tower of Sweet Chaos lose, isn't. So you? that's normally not that big of a deal. Still a magic limit. Wow, that's been 
was this, the third stage with that? That's a little odd, honestly. It's also just cool to see all the different enemies in the game. Because we're sort of power scale differently here. So you get to see some of the characters from the beginning chapters, but they're at different power levels, so they're still not, like, they're not jokes, they're still somewhat challenging and stuff. Which is pretty cool. It's I honestly over do, for I'm you. I'm wondering now. Drink. Is there something special falter. that happens when you beat floor like 150 in the tower? Is it just the end? Because I know when pieces. originally when it came out, the first like 50 floors were story elements, and I got to like 70 something, and then it got really hard. Um, but I have no idea if it's Come actually still an important practice. aspect of the game. Like, is there a real benefit to doing it, or not really? Uh. Are these identical? They're not identical. Let's go for this. I don't really care. Shove licorice cookie back in, though. You know, my five star and all. Also, there's like the star cookies from chapter- or not star cookies, the like weird ghost people from chapter 8 here. That's kind of cool. That's exciting. I wasn't really expecting to see those anymore. Chapter 8 was cool. I will not. I had some issues with chapter 8 originally. It had a bit of a copycat from chapter 7, and they used some of the raid boss and stuff. It was a little disappointing. But it is really cool, like the whole idea of the ghost oh, city and stuff where they find um, Dark Enchanter's Cookie and the Moonstone, or the Cursed Moonstone ever. Very, very cool little effect, very interesting to see. And I really like the color palette, honestly, just like the weird, like, navy blues and dark blues paired with, like, A the starry bubbles. It's really cool. Like, it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna be finding quite a few of these, which is kinda nice. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice to see. One thing I actually am thinking about recently is, uh, would you guys be interested in seeing just, like, I don't know, a longer video of me just going through the story? Because I'm thinking of maybe doing it anyways, perhaps in preparation for the rest of the... Well, for the rest of chapter 12, or not chapter 12, uh, for chapter 13 and 14, would you guys be interested in seeing a video with me just going through all of the story? Uh, otherwise, I'll probably, what I'll probably do, if nothing else, is just record it all and upload it, like, without audio. for you. Um, but if, or not without audio, but without, like, commentary, I guess. But do you want to see that video at all? Do you want to see it with commentary, or Is everyone safe not? and sound? I don't know. I'm curious, because I am planning on doing that soon. A limit on my charge cookies? How could you do this to me? Mango cookie, in you go. <laughs> I'll show Deal you our hospitality. Uh, but yeah. So I am thinking about maybe doing that. I think that could be fun and potentially give some good ideas for one or two theory videos to do as well. Because, you know, we are officially in the waiting mode, the waiting game for chapter 13 and 14. Or just the next update. I forget if they've actually come out or not. I haven't actually really checked it out recently. I know there is, like, some autumn costume thing. I need to take a look at that after this video is done. I saw it in my, like, recommended page a few days ago. And is my next I never watched fall? it. And I never heard anything about it, so I'm assuming it's not a major update. Are one of these actually useful? You were significantly better with this one on the right, so I will- Oh, I don't have enough keys. Well, I guess that's the end of the chapter of the Tower of Sweet Chaos, then. That ended somewhat quickly. Did we actually get one of these? We did. Frost Crystals. Oh, we have a Tendra here! Oh, that's exciting. One more Tendra, come on! Frost Queen Cookie! I planned for an unexpected episode, so you're gonna give me Frost Queen Cookie, right? Right? No? You're telling me I got a common cookie? Yeah, thought so. I mean, come on, how cool would that have been if I'm just like, oh yeah, we'll have a nothing special episode, and then, what do you know, we pulled Frost Queen cookie. That would have been an interesting way to end it. Uh, but no, unfortunately, it does not look like it. Or I don't think it's possible at this point, honestly. I don't know, maybe it's possible. I suppose we could always get a few soul stones. Theoretically, you could get 10 of her soul stones in a row, or like 10 double soul stone worths, and then you would end up with, uh, with full on Frost Queen cookie. So, I mean, you know, anything's possible. Let's just do the single one draw as well. Why not? We will do the extra draw, and then, I think actually, I just realized we never took a look at those costumes we got. So I'm gonna head in and take a look at the costumes, we'll try on some dark mode stages with those cookies, and, uh, and that'll probably be it for today. Uh, but come on, no! Pancake cookie, nothing good, fine, 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 fine. Uh, so let's look at the cookies then. So I know we got one for my, uh, poison mushroom cookie. You got <laughs> your skin. This. I have two of you. Oh, oh no, I just don't have this one. Okay, uh, that one's way cooler, but fine. This one's okay too. The brown, it looks pretty nice. 
Um, purple yam. Purple yams look epic. The hot baked yam, the cool, like the golden -y potatoes. First of all, potatoes are epic. That was just a random thing, but potatoes are really good. Uh, but this skin is so cool looking. Like, it's just so, so cool. Uh, who else did we get? We got another. Sh oh no, we got a duplicate strawberry, right? Nervous. Yeah. Um, let's keep it the gnome one then. I believe we got. I'm trying to remember now. We got quite a few. Okay, costume list. Who did we get that's not equipped? Um, pancake cookie. We use. Okay, sparkling. We got a sparkling cookie and oh, milk. Right, milk cookie. Milk cookies actually look really cool. I shall fight the Surprised darkness. I forgot about that. It looks a little odd and old school. Like it looks like a very a more cookie on oven break type skin. But still quite cool. Who was the other person I said? Uh, right, sparkling cookie. I'm like, who was I thinking of? There was someone in my mind, and, uh, I, I don't remember them anymore. Where is Sparkling Cookie? Sparkling Cookie, where are, are my eyes deceiving me? Where did you go? Okay, there you are. I Raise probably clicked on him, like, three times victory. there. Okay, skins acquired. Dark mode we shall go. Skins shall be looked at. It will be wonderful. Alright, chapter 12. <laughs> Still a little weird to see. Uh, Dark Bow, we are in chapter 6, though. Still, you know, halfway. Not bad at all. We got some gems as well. Okay, so let's get in here. Uh, stage 3. These treasures are fine, but we, of course, are using the cookies with some skins. So the new skins, preferably. Uh, we can probably win. I know two of these are, like, level 14 right now, but... Purple Yams, level 32. Uh, Milk Cookies, level 38. Um, who else did we get? We got a common cookie, didn't we? I thought we did. Or, no. I don't think we ever tested out strawberry, though, so let's go on strawberry. Fight. He is level 20. Um, or she is level 20. Okay, so it's a boss fight. We have 63,000 power. We need 113,000 power. Um, uh, let's give it a shot. If we lose, we lose, but let's give the stage a shot. We have decent odds of winning this, and if we lose, that's too bad. Peace and justice. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of cookies. I, yeah, that's sort of what I was figured. I was getting our ass, but I was sort of wondering if they have an effect on... What was it? If they have an effect on, um... Like, their attack. It doesn't look like it would be too bad. This team is powerful. I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. Strawberry and Yam Cookie are sort of the only cookies with that type of attack. So putting them together could actually be really effective. Not to mention with Milk Cookie, we have like the triple charge strategy. Plus we have Poison Mushroom with his backliner, which actually works really well with the Cookie tanks because it's damage over time. Not to mention we still have Sparkling Cookie, who is a decent healer, plus some solid, uh, the Crit Chance bonus is pretty good damage buff. This is actually a pretty decent team combo. I wasn't really thinking about that. That was fast. Some free life, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is actually a happy team. And also, these skins are really cool. Purple Yam is still definitely my favorite. I actually really like the gnome strawberry cookie skin. I think that's really cool. Um, milk chocolate, or not milk chocolate, uh, chocolate milk cookie, I guess. Uh, he has a pretty cool skin as well. It is neat, I like it, but it's pretty basic, and it's not all that special, obviously. Uh, Shiitake Mushroom skin is pretty cool. It's a little weird looking, but it kind of fits the rest of these cookies, as the motion has sort of like a browny, goldeny uh, skin. Or not, yeah, skin, like their costumes. It's so weird, I want to call them skins, but I guess they're called costumes in this game, because they like, theme them in with Halloween. And then Sparkling Cookies. A sparkling cookie, I guess. Uh, his skin's fine. Nothing all that special about it is, but it is pretty cool. Um, it's just a nice bonus to his basic character, which honestly, I feel like sometimes that, though, that, those, yes, uh, those are the best skins sometimes. And obviously, it's seen on the feet. actual here too. Okay, never mind. Uh, the mush poison mushroom cookie skin, the face is really cool. It's a weird, like, dark shading effect in his eyes, that cool, like, brown color. Kind of makes me think of, like, chestnuts. It's really cool. And then Purple Yam Cookie is the, like, straight- Oh, this is so cool. These costumes are really epic. This is probably gonna be the thumbnail, honestly. Nothing else all that crazy happened. These are five really cool skins. I think that's thumbnail right there. Plus we won, which is kind of cool, too. That, that went really well. That was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I guess that's kind of it. I think we actually have some free layout items as well. Yeah, we got the weird shopping stuff. Shopping items. Be placed! With no particular order, one of these days I'm gonna have to redesign my kingdom, aren't I? The answer is yes, one of these days I will have to redesign my kingdom. Um, Hellfire Malapon, that looks cool. Again, no good placement for that, but looks pretty cool. 
And let's just put one more Sonic Portal over here. Double Sonic Portal. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's probably fine for now. Uh, that was pretty cool, though. One last thing, just a reminder. Oh, we have more story here. Oh yeah, I guess from here we finally got the gem bonus. Uh, do you want to see a complete story run through? There is a lot of them. Honestly, there's a lot. We have four here. We have... Oh, we can't even go back? That's annoying. That's going to be very annoying. Oh no, there is a back. I just didn't see it. Uh, so there's four here. There's three here. There's two here. There's... There's a lot of these, and we're going through all of the story. Uh, so it would be a long video, probably 40-50 minute video, but it would be a lot of fun to go through all the story again. Let me know if you want to see it. Again, commentary, no commentary, want to see it at all, don't want to see it at all, I don't know. Should it include the special records or the cookie stories? I have all the cookie stories complete, but as far as special records go, I'm still missing, um, the... What are they called? The, um... The Cookies of Darkness one, so what do you think? Should I should I speed run through duck mode and do a complete story, like every single story in the game? So I don't have the Tropical Soda Island still. <sighs> Cause they're so hard to get. One more time. One time. One time. Like I don't know how to get all of these, but they're clearly so hard to get. A hundred times. Like look at all these quests. The Tropical Soda Islands are so they take so much time. I've done so many of these, and I even have a few of these that I can probably open up at this point. But they're so expensive, and they take such a long time, and so much time to get all the resources you need, that they're just hard to do. There's a lot of the islands, and they take quite a while. Uh, but you know what? Why don't we end off with a few of these? I'll probably do some off-camera. So, uh, yeah! Thank you all for- wait a sec. You can time jump these? That- that's one of the time jump Impossible. features? I thought that was just for, like, dark mode and stuff. You can repeat these missions with them. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank- I have 54 of these. This is so- These matches take forever! They have, like, five to eight minute long cooldowns. This is so nice! I can speedrun these so much! Oh, well, this is definitely what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, um... I'm probably gonna be doing this off as soon as I end the recording then. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Again, definitely let me know about the story thing. I probably can't complete Tropical Soda Islands, but I don't know, maybe I can? It's hard to know for sure. Um, but yeah, in the end of the day, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, yeah, bye!